Well, we've been having a little problem with the groundhog eating my wife's flowers, bushes, mainly her flowers and some of the ornamental plants. So she has instructed me to rid us of this. I've trapped about, I guess, five groundhogs in my life. And what we do is we go let them loose somewhere else away from here. We continue to have a groundhog problem. So I've set another trap and thought you might be interested in seeing what we've done. It's a live trap. Uh, typical live chat. And the groundhog loves to graze out here amongst the clover in the front yard. So I've got it baited with apples, with peanut butter, and a little honey. And in case they don't like that, I think they like carrots. You can see some carrots in there. I've got it past the, uh, the plate there so that the groundhog has to step on the plate to get to it. I've got it up next to this deck. And then I have it uh, semi-camouflaged, just maybe to take away a little bit of the groundhog's ambition. It's, well, I put this up about 5 o'clock. I'm expecting by tomorrow at this time I'll have a groundhog. But we'll see. Well, it took a little longer than I thought. It took about five days. But I see my trap has sprung. And in it, I have got a little groundhog. Groundhog. Who we will take to a nearby field. And, uh, let him go so he can grow to be a big groundhog someday. Well, these traps work, and obviously, apples and carrots. Oh, oh.